Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Dirty Chainsaw. It is just a chainsaw, so let's take a look. Comes with a demo scene, which, yeah, fair enough. Not quite sure <laughs> what I was expecting with a demo scene with a dirty chainsaw, because all it is is a chainsaw in the scene, which, yeah, fair enough. It advertises itself as that. Uh, quality wise, it's not too bad. Um, there is one small problem which I have uh, come across and that's the fact that this chainsaw is very very small it is absolutely minute so now to put that into perspective uh, I'm just gonna well you can already see right there how small it is let's just add in a cube you can see how just 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 huge so the chainsaw itself is rather small and I'm going to increase the size of this to 250 by 250 by 250 so we can see it a little bit better um, not a lot of effort has gone into the demo scene which you know fair enough it's a chainsaw at least we get a demo scene it's in the scene and we can see uh, quality wise it's not too bad uh, I quite like the look of it it'll do as a nice little prop uh, you could go further and modify it if you wanted you know just in case of maybe going to the materials playing around with a couple of things changing it to albedo alpha changing the color you know slightly yellowy kind of color so i don't know maybe so yeah in that sense you can customize it like that um quantity we get the chainsaw we get the chainsaw and that's it nothing else obviously the materials and textures come with it uh, so extras there is no extras at all uh, how versatile is it? Well, this is where we start coming across a little problem. It would have been nice if, uh, for example, the chain here was actually a separate object to be animated. Unfortunately, it isn't. It is just that model. Um, so you can't, re if you're doing something really high quality, you wouldn't be able to use this as, say, for example, something from The Evil Within or, you know, Resident Evil 4, guys with a chainsaw, because you can't really animate this. But if you're going for something a little less high quality, maybe the chainsaw guy is going to be in the distance. You could just have a chainsaw noise and just have this as a prop. So it's okay in that respect. Um, overall, I think it'll do. I think it's a nice prop. It's probably not practical in the sense of, like I say, if you're creating something like the Evil Within. Um, it's not practical in that sense, but it is a very nice prop. It is fairly well made. It's good, but I think there may be better assets out there. However, some of them may not be free like this one is. So remember, asset prices do change from time to time. They go up, they come down, they go up, they come down. So keep that in mind if you come across this little review and come across this chainsaw and it's maybe a couple of bucks or something. So it is free at the time of recording. It is 17.5 meg, which I think might be a little bit big considering what this asset actually is. But then again, I don't think it matters too much in a lot of respects. So how useful is this asset going to be? I think it's really down to what you're designing for a game. Like I say, if you're going for something ultra high quality, this probably won't do for you. If you're going for something middling to low, I'd say it's going to be quite good. I'd say it will serve its purpose. Um, I think more than anything, what you've got to remember is that something like this is, is good and obviously it's free. But the high quality assets, like if you weren't looking for a high quality chainsaw with you know sounds and the chain actually animated, you may actually have to pay for that, you know, more than just a couple of bucks. So just keep that in mind. So, as you guys know, I don't, don't, don't rate assets. I don't rate them. I recommend them, or I don't. This one, I think I would just about recommend it. Just. Um, the reason I would recommend it is because it is practical in a lot of senses, and it is a really good prop. But that's all it could be, just a prop. It wouldn't be able to be used as, like, a weapon in a first person style game, I don't think you'd be able to use it for that. So I wouldn't recommend it in that sense. But after playing around with it and trying to use it in um, one of my own projects, I, I honestly do think it is a fairly decent prop. Even if it's just like at the back of a garage somewhere, I think it will serve that purpose. So guys, as you know, I do a lot of stuff like this, loads of reviews, loads of tutorials. So don't forget, click on that subscribe button, 
click on that bell icon as well and you can stay up to date with them. And if you've used this asset, let me know what you think. And if you've got it in your game, you tell me how you've used it in your game. If you've also got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well. Drop a link in the comments because I'd love to check it out. And finally, guys, all I've got to say is thank you very much for watching.